there's going to be a new interface to how we interact with technology. And that's where we're going. I don't think we're going to be typing and clicking and doing the, all those other things. I think the interface for how we interact and engage is going to become that much more simple. And I think it's going to be conversation. I think it's going to be voice. I think it's going to be intuition. I think it's going to be more connected to devices. I don't think it's necessarily sitting in front of a computer and powering through and opening a bunch of web browsers. I, I think it's you telling the computer what's up and yeah, it's doing and, some and, stuff. And, and, and it's doing stuff for you. And I think it's like really going towards like... But it's it's going to be following what we tell it to do. That's the thing. That, right. That, that, that's right. But it's also going to be thinking 10 steps. Like think about search intent on the on the internet. When Google pre Yahoo, when you search for something, how why was it so good? It's because it's seen a billion parameters of that same search before and it's been able to then narrow it down. It's not guessing, it's guessing it on a micro level, but it's like able to narrow those parameters to precisely what you want. With inference and AI where we're going to be able to go, it's going to be not a billion parameters. It's going to be a hundred billion parameters it's looked at and it's going to narrow that down to exactly what you want and solving the particular problem you're after. And that's where we see the niche of what we're trying to do. We see that as a capability that is not going to be a nice to have. It's like, if you don't have it, you're going to get left behind. And that's where we see opportunities. 